Welcome to the Web Search Skills Learning Series offered by the Association of Internet Research Specialists. You are watching Volume 6, Unit 3 of Three Parts. I am David, and I will be talking about the Google search operators, the in-URL, and all in-URL commands. In order to understand the function of in-URL and all in-URL, we need to explain the link structure. The stem or path of the URL is shown in A. It starts with the Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure or HTTPS. This protocol secures communication and data transfer between a user's web browser and a website pages. A colon sign followed by two backslashes separates the protocol from the host domain name. What comes after the domain afears.org are the hierarchical arrangements of named folders and subfolders, separated by a backslash, that lead user to reach the landing page. As indicated in B, the folder named Certifications is followed by a backslash and landing page titled SIRS Certification Benefits. In the illustration query example, see the in URL command attempts to find pages that contains URLs with words afears.org, SIRS, Certifications, and Benefits. The outcome of search results, shown in D, brings pages with URLs that must contain the word afears.org and for the remaining words to be matched as single words or in combinations, as shown in a list of words. Let us look at some of the operational examples of querying for URL with in-URL and all-in-URL commands. In the example of a set, A, we apply the in-URL command. In query 1, we need the two words CNN and robocalls and the year 2021 to find a matching URL, shown in A. Observe that a typical URL contains a date that is a useful context to use. The word CNN is the domain name treated as text without concern about the domain extension of .com. In example 2, a complete domain name with nytimes.com is matched along with a date with a year, month, and day. Note how the structure of the domain name and the date is kept intact, which matches exactly in a URL, shown in B. The term Google search is kept inside quotes to run it as a phrase search. Example 3 finds URL containing an entire subdomain with a.org extension. The search looks for matching singular word article, or its plural form, articles as a choice, indicated with the Boolean OR vertical bar. Please make a note that, when querying a URL, ensure that searched words or phrases are an exact match for correct results. The URL C is a link that brings an article titled Oil Giants Used Search Engines for Greenwashing Study Finds. Now let us move to example 4. This query is looking to get a content page from a URL that is a news source, unlike query 3, which linked to the article source. Shown in the link D, the title of pages should include the word search engine and a restrictor for the year 2022 is added to the query. Query 5 uses three advanced operators, including the in URL. This query seeks links to pages from a forum source and pertains to the year 2022. The search adds further restriction in linking with pages that have in their title tag the words Windows 11 and ensures the presence of the word keyboard in the rest of its body of text. The URL E has matches for the word forum and the date 2022 and includes the word Windows 11 in the landing page title. The next word, keyboard, is not in URL but must appear on the page content area. In the example, query 6 has used the backslash with the FR abbreviation used for a French language or the country of France. This convention is usually applied as a source ID element in the URL stem. You will notice that the link, F, takes you to the French landing page version. The word Microsoft is added to match anywhere on the content page, such as title tags or URLs, or the rest of the body of the text of indexed pages. These were some of the queries for practice and use of the in URL. Next, we will use example set B to further your knowledge of using this command. In the example set B, query 7, the word blog, or its plural word blogs, or blogging, is an acceptable return while the term search engine is a mandatory find. Running the search brought back a page with a link shown as A. 
just below the link, you can observe a lengthier link B. This is the original link programmed for the page, but it is masked by the Google recommended link structure, A. When the search uses in URL, the search seeks a match of words in both the original source link, B, and masking link, A, appearing in the snippet. In both links, the word blogging is matched along with the word search engine. In query 8, we gave a choice of words, blog or blogs, and forced the inclusion of the term search engine. Furthermore, with the help of a minus sign, we excluded the word blog and its derivatives from the document's title statement. You may observe the returned URL C as the outcome of the result. Notice here that the document is pulled from a directory source named blog. Whereas the document titled Search Engine Optimization excludes the words blog, blogs, and blogging. A user may apply this approach if the intention is to ensure the document source is a written blog, and where it must not confuse a match for blog, blogs, or blogging to be part of the document title. We now look at another example to compare the two queries, 9 and 10, to see how they are different, and yet the results may appear similar as shown in URL D and E. One used in URL to find the textual word CNN and the other used site, colon, to find pages that contain the domain name CNN.com in its URL. You will observe that query 9 brought 28 results, while query 10 gave 18 results. This is because more URLs contain the word CNN as text and therefore are not necessarily coming directly from the domain link of CNN.com, but may exist as a third-party referred link. In comparison, the site, operator in query 10, ensures that the URL must be a direct referral from the site domain that contains the full domain name cnn.com. Therefore, fewer results appear from query 10 compared with query 9. In other words, query 9 not only matches the word cnn wherever it may occur in the stem of a URL, but also includes finding URLs originating from the domain of cnn.com. Whereas query 10, only finds pages from the site domain cnn.com. We will now run query examples to differentiate between the in URL and the all in URL operator. In example A, query 1 uses the in URL for words, tax returns, 1099. The snippet returned appears as shown in 3. Also, the URL associated with the snippet is shown in 2. In example B, Query 4 uses the all in URL for the same words, tax, returns, and 1099. You can observe that the snippet returned is different from A, as shown in 6, and the related URL of the snippet is shown in 5. The in URL finds only two matched words in URL, 2, and drops the word returns, whereas the returned snippet, 6, with the all in URL, 5 ensures the presence of all words to be found in the URL. With this information, I hope now you are better prepared to build the URL queries. Thank you for watching our video. We are continuously preparing more educated videos on learning web search skills, and we certainly will appreciate your feedback on improving our short lectures. Until next time, bye now.